number six, we have three times the absolute value of y plus four minus nine equals zero. Okay, so I'm going to move the nine over, add nine to both sides, and then I end up with three times the absolute value of y plus four equals nine. So you can just kind of think of moving this over and changing the sign. And I also have to get rid of this three. So we're going to divide by three, and three divided by three is one, divide by three, and we end up with the absolute value of y plus four equals three. Okay, <coughs> so we have the absolute value uh, equation in standard form is equal to positive, so we can solve it. So we're going to do it twice. We're going to have y plus four equals three, and y plus four equals negative three. And then all we have to do here is just subtract four from both sides. get y equals negative 1, and we get y equals negative 7. So we get one, negative 1 and negative 7. And it says in set notation, so we need the curly bracket, negative 1, comma, negative 7. the absolute value and we want to know select which one of these options uh, so either there's no solution one solution and, or there's two okay <coughs> so our problem we have absolute value of negative x minus two equals ten okay standard form by itself we can solve it so we'll have a negative x minus 2 equals 10, and then we'll have a negative x minus 2 equals negative 10. <coughs> we'll add 2 to both sides. That will go away, bring down negative x equals 12, and then over here, bring down negative x. And it equals negative 10. Okay, so the variable needs to be positive. Um, right now I have the negative in front of it, so to get rid of that, we're going to divide by negative 1. Same thing as multiplying by negative 1. It's just going to change the sign of all the numbers. <coughs> so this will become positive x equals negative 12. And then this will give us positive x equals positive 8. So we have x equals 8 and x equals negative 12. So we get two solutions here. Click two solutions and then we can do 8 and negative 12.